Recently, the world was captured by the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. I was lucky enough to pay my respects during the lying in state, and I was also lucky enough to see the funeral procession down the mall. It was an incredible moment in history, but the Queen was then taken to Windsor Castle, which was regarded as her favourite residence, where she was buried inside the King George VI Memorial Chapel. What is strange with this is the fact that the Queen was not technically laid to rest inside the Royal Vault at Windsor Castle, but she was buried in a side chapel along with her husband, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. But it leaves a lot to be questioned in the future as to whether this chapel will now become the main Royal Vault of St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, as her family members will want to be buried alongside her. But there is actually a Royal Vault at Windsor Castle that has a huge amount of burials inside of it. Join us today as we look at who is buried inside the Royal Vault at Windsor, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. First we will look at the King George VI Memorial Chapel, which was commissioned to be built by Elizabeth II in 1962. It was designed to accommodate the remains of three monarchs and their consorts, meaning that it is possible that Charles III may be buried there with his wife Camilla one day. The plan for this chapel was to find a resting place for the Queen's father, King George VI, and following his funeral his remains were transferred to the Royal Vault, and as he died suddenly, there was no specific place designated to lay him at rest. The Queen wanted her mother to not have to bury her husband a second time, and she disliked the idea of marble chest tombs with life-sized effigies for monarchs, and she preferred simple slabs on the floor. There was no space for another vault to be made in St George's Chapel, so they added another Chantry Chapel to the outside of it. This was the first addition to the church since Henry VII added a chapel in 1504. Plans were eventually approved and the roof of the chapel was painted in black and white and decorated with gold leaf. The altar there was constructed and King George VI's remains were transferred to the memorial chapel named after him on the 24th of March 1969. It cost around £500,000 in today's money to make and was funded by the Queen. A private ceremony took place with the royal family and George VI was laid to rest inside of the vault. Later the ashes of his daughter and a sister of the Queen, Princess Margaret, were placed there and she was cremated to make sure her remains could be accommodated in a small chamber beneath the chapel's floor. Later the Queen Mother was interred beneath the floor on the 9th of April 2002 and Margaret's ashes were then placed in the tomb of her parents at the same time. But following the recent death of the Duke of Edinburgh Prince Philip, a private burial ceremony took place inside the chapel to lay the Queen's husband to rest alongside his father-in-law and mother-in-law. He was placed inside of this vault and a ledger stone was placed on the floor, but then following the death of Elizabeth II, she was then placed next to her husband Philip on top of him. The burials are stacked on top of each other and it's believed that inside of this chapel is space for one more monarch and their consort, as it was planned initially to have been intended to be a burial place for three monarchs. It's a quiet and calm part of St George's Chapel, but the other royal vault inside of St George's Chapel is much busier. The church itself is a place where Henry VIII, Jane Seymour and King Charles I are buried beneath the choir, but at the altar are many more burials. Edward IV and Henry VI are buried there, and there are two other coffins of two children possibly believed to be the princes in the tower. Elizabeth Woodville is also near the altar, as is Edward VII and Alexandra of Denmark. George Plantagenet and the Duke of Bedford and Mary of York are also interred there, along with Princess Louise of saxe weimar Eisenach. Further kings and queens are dotted around, as well as princes and princesses, as George V is buried near the west door, along with his consort Mary of Teck. But what is classed as the royal vault contains the remains of many kings and queens, and also princes and princesses. Of the kings buried there, George III, George IV, William IV and George V are buried there. Many of their sons and grandchildren are also interred in the royal vault. It's believed their remains are held behind wrought iron grills on the side of the vault. But the last burial inside there took place in 1930, with Princess Augusta of Hessel Castle, the Duchess of Cambridge being placed. But in the future it's likely that King Charles III and his consorts will be buried inside the George VI Memorial Chapel. It's likely Charles will be interred alongside his mother, but following this the royal vault may be used once again to house other members of the royal family who sadly have passed away. 
Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.